518 in progress. Five thirty four in progress. Team complete. Fifteen in progress. Four complete. Fifteen complete. Six in progress. Fifty one in progress.
Roger. Roger.
Thank you again for your time, Mr. Kogan, and thanks for your patience. Next Thursday we'll have another meeting, by which time I will have some new questions for you. If you remember something new before our next meeting, not just about Jack Boyd, but about your work in the police department as a whole, then just let me know. If you change your work schedule, let me know. If you need to leave Freeburg for some reason, well, you understand. Let me know. <laughs> Don't look at me, Mr. Kogan. I don't want to be here any more than you do. If it was up to me, neither one of us Thank would Thank you have again, to. Mr. Kogan. You are free to go. Take it easy on these people, Lana. They don't have I'm to. I'm just doing my job, Wilton. It's your job too, remember? Please invite Miss Emma Weinstein in. Emma Weinstein? Again? <laughs> what is this already, her sixth? Just the fourth. And you're hoping to learn something new. As far as I recall, she just keeps saying the same thing. I will definitely learn something new, Wilton. Even if she keeps saying the same thing. Even the fact that she always repeats all the answers word for word. That's already very important information just by itself. <sighs> well, yes, 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 for you. Because the whole world around you is very important information. Good morning, Miss Weinstein. I'll ask you some questions, some of them new, others I've already asked you during previous interviews. But I hope that you'll be kind enough to... You can ask me any questions, Miss Berman. I'll answer you. For the second time, the fifth, the tenth, as long as it takes. You know that. Then let's not waste any time.
534 in progress. Five thirty in progress. Five thirty four complete. Five forty in progress. Five thirty complete. Five forty complete. Five thirty in progress. Five twenty six in progress. Five thirty complete. Five sixteen in progress.
516 complete. Do you see him, Pedro? Has he already ordered a drink? What? What chihuahua? Are you sure you're looking at the right guy? Uh, do, do you see a basket of strawberries? Pe Pedro, Pedro, not everything is important. It doesn't matter how he's dressed. A basket of strawberries. Do you see it? Has, has he already started eating the strawberries? Uh, uh, all right, all right, Pedro. Don't worry about that. If he's eating strawberries from a basket, then he's the one we need, no doubt. Just, all right, just wait until he's eaten all the strawberries and then approach him, right? Right, right, Pedro, right, right. I'll be waiting for your call. Just stick to the plan, all right? Pedro? It's me. Oh, okay. Jack. Yeah, I was sure you must be dead. Look, Fry, I, I know that I... I... I hear there's a federal agent who's interested in you. He's already reached Millington. From there, I think he'll be uh, heading north. What do you think, Jack? Has he picked up your trail? Fry, let's just talk. Jack, how happy he'll be to find out you're still alive. A, a, a young agent, a, a, let's call him Chris, dreaming of a brilliant career. He wants to prove to his alcoholic father that he's made something of his life. And the girl? Let's call her uh, Tanya. She's recently left him. So he just loved to play the hero all over the front page and then just rub her nose in it. <laughs> oh, oh, and Chris? Chris has an arrogant colleague, too. Uh, let's call him uh, Tommy, who's always laughing at him. <laughs> oh, 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 wait. You know what, Jack? I think Tommy's fucking Tanya. I mean, this whole time. <laughs> How could I have missed it? Tommy's fucking Tanya. And worse, the alcoholic father is banging Tanya, too. I mean, they're all fucking around over there. And and just think about poor old Chris. Fry, let's just... <laughs> oh, 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 and by the way, did I mention that Chris has a, a bit of a stutter? Uh, naturally, that meant problems at school. Oh, and not just at school, but at the academy, too. Yeah, 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 he was nearly kicked out of the academy twice, even though his marks were brilliant. Imagine, they were ready to kick the guy out just because he stutters a little. <laughs> no, nobody wants to have anything to do with him. You know what that's like, Jack, huh? And suddenly, our stutterer Chris, less than six months at the Bureau, he catches a fugitive off the federal wanted list. And not just anyone, but Jack Boyd, the king of corruption. I mean, the symbol of our whole society's disintegration. Al Capone in a police cap. Nobody else could do it. But there's just something about Chris. You know, Jack? Good Lord, Fry, it's just... Now, Tanya wants to fuck him. 